Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, the figures for July are in. Another month, zero cost for powering the house. And as you can see today, pretty cloudy. All systems are basically full. Doing pretty good. So I'll show you around a little bit on a little recap of monthly costs living off grid. So for those of you that have followed this channel for a while, you'll know that this is my main house bank, 600 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery pack there. That's two 300 amp hours tied uh, together in parallel for a 600 amp hour bank. Everything's running fine. 808, look at that. <laughs> That's perfect. 80%, 808. It's like I planned it for that. Haven't had much use to, to run the Victron on this system. This is to, tied in here to where uh, if I ever needed to, I could fire up a generator and charge the system up and it's been months since this thing has turned on. Haven't needed it. Hope I don't need to, but it's there in case I do. And just like in June, uh, where when I got some really cloudy days, I did have to supplement uh, that main house bank with uh, one of these systems out here in the shop. And all I had to do is just unplug the refrigerator uh, to, and then just run it off of like this Red Odo system, 200 amp hour, or uh, even the system further down the power wall, the, the power queen. And I, hook, I would just unplug the refrigerator from the main house bank let it charge up if it was getting down low. Only had to do that for a few days in the entire month of July. Uh, and then the main house bank charged right back up. I unplugged it off of the, one of these auxiliary systems. And I never did fire up a generator, never used one single drop of gasoline. So that's where I come in with my zero cost for electricity. Now the next thing on the hit list is going to be propane. Still do run a little propane. It's always been the off-grid fuel of choice and I've used it for nearly 30 years for uh, appliances, for cooking, uh, on-demand hot water heat, and refrigeration before I switched over to an electric refrigerator that can run off of these very easily. And I've taken my propane use now when it was running refrigeration as well as hot water heat and cooking, used about eight gallons a month consistently. And most of that was for the refrigeration. And now by eliminating the refrigeration, uh, the total propane usage from eight gallons a month to about two gallons a month. And these are the uh, propane tanks tied into the house system. These are two 40 pound tanks. They each hold about nine gallons. Used to get, when I was running the refrigeration, used to get, like I said, one month per tank. Uh, current cost of propane out here costs about 40 bucks to fill one of these up. So when I was using these for refrigeration, about 40 bucks a month was the total cost to run the entire house with propane. Uh, still wasn't using uh, very much gasoline on a smaller solar system, but occasionally I'd have to fire up a generator. Not doing that anymore. Got the system built up. I hope to never use another drop of gasoline. I'm into several months now of not using a drop of gasoline for anything. And yeah, from eight gallons a month to two gallons a month. This used to last a month. Now one of these is lasting about four months. And I've got two of them tied up. 
So right there is like eight months of propane now that's just being used for cooking and on-demand hot water heat. But I'm telling you, these are next on the hit list. And I'm going to have some upcoming videos already revamping some systems here. Propane's next to go away. It's all going to be solar. Everything. Cooking. Cleaning. Everything. I'm getting off the gas. I'm not getting any younger and these things are heavy to lug around. I'm risking a hernia every time I make a supply run. Which thankfully now is maybe twice a year at the most I have to haul those things around. Pretty happy. And there's the 1000 watts filling up the house battery bank right now. Sun's starting to peek back out. It's not going to take it long. Take it right up to 100% here in the next few hours for sure. The other systems are full. Everything's good. So, electricity, a big zero in cost once the system's in. Not spending anything for supplemental power. Propane down to about eight bucks a month. So I could actually say technically about eight bucks a month to run the entire house and that's on propane, which is on its way out too. All right, just the monthly update. It's getting cheaper. Aloha.